what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a video game trailer reaction uh today we're going to be taking a look at my second most anticipated game um my first game being starfield this game armor core 6 fires of rubicon being my second most anticipated uh video game um let's just jump right into it uh, this is a uh four almost 14 minute long video so let's let's just jump right into it i'm very very excited very very excited hello and thanks for checking out the video with this footage we'll introduce our new mech action game armored core 6 fires of rubicon we hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. In a future where interstellar travel is commonplace, our story begins in a distant star system on the fictional planet Rubicon 3. It kind of reminds me of Gundam Wing, the, tar the Talgies. An independent mercenary he had those uh, giant jet propulsion packs attached to the, uh, the gun frame itself. Your position wow, is Greenwood 35. Off target, but within permissible range. Look at the detail, man. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Wow. Huge multi layered stages will let players make the most of their AC's exceptional movement and attack capabilities. Wow. There's clouds on the bottom of the mountain, clouds in the middle, and then clouds way up high in the stratosphere. That's crazy. That's a long jet boost. Overwhelm enemies with up to four Whoa. weapons simultaneously, equipped to each arm and shoulder. Oh, what happened to the video quality? It is already at max quality. Oh no, this doesn't look like it's the original recording. Follow the markers. The bit rate went to crap during the combat. Assault boost is one of the core abilities at your disposal, used for both traversal and combat. about what the corps are up to yeah they'll be coming soon you got us on the run wow wow he can strafe in midair that was a quick dodge man Take full advantage of your AC's mobility to freely navigate the environment. Let me count. One, two, three. Use boost to take the fight to the air, extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. I want to see how how much how long a, a full boost is. This looks insane. Show me what a full boost looks like. Use vertical catapults to gain even more altitude One, and launch two, into the action from three, above. Four, five, six, seven. Seven seconds of boost. Not bad. Whoa! What? 
in the pine D is that? Against tougher enemies, deal impact damage to their attitude control system to temporarily put If Metal action. Gear could fly. <laughs> This is called Stagger. Any attack received in this state is considered a direct hit, dealing heavy damage. This looks amazing. Ooh, customization. Whoa, he had a giant chainsaw. Parts of your AC at will, including weapons, Frame parts such as the head and core, and internal parts for power management. Assembling an AC to fit I'm your gonna build a lightweight strategy mech. is crucial to success. A very, very skinny mech with medium-sized legs, and then put the fastest jetpack on it. It's gonna be this light, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be a lot of melee, dodge in and out. That's Raven. the gameplay style this I want to play. Comes from Schneider. An Archibus subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. What you the hell are is to that? Destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Yo. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Oh, please tell me this is Your a boss fight. Your attack will focus on the eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Main system, activating combat mode. Damn. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. This reminds me at the beginning yeah, of Metal Gear Solid 5, the, the dust storm. What the hell? Look at that thing in the background. It's massive. I thought it was going to be like a slightly larger version of the Star Star Wars at, -AT. But that thing dwarfs it. Holy shit, that's a Death Star on legs, guys. Look at that. Forget the tow ca cables and trying to trip it. Blow it up. We need to take out one of its legs to bring it to a halt. Confirmed. Strider leg compromised. It's going down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Oh my god, look. Wow. Half of the body collapsed. Right, now we've got a foothold to get on the deck. Grab on and get to work on the sub generators. Oh shit, it it's a multi-stage fight. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Great. An independent no, show me more! Wait, Armored Core has multiplayer? Some missions will see you partnered up with ally ACs. Oh, okay, never mind, it's AI. I thought it was gonna be like a team deathmatch or something, I saw ally. <laughs> oh shit. That was nice moves.
Oh my god, this bit rate is so terrible. It's like someone downloaded the original copy of this video and then re-uploaded it. And there's a lot of degradation on it. Yeah, I can't get through the HQ. The cavalry isn't coming. Wipe them out, 621. Your mission objectives will range from protecting targets and information gathering to the annihilation of enemy forces. 50%. Okay, that's kind of more along the lines of the body that I want to use my AC. Attacking Except that not those legs. You're incorrigible handler, those legs Walter. look very uh, awkward. How many of your dogs must I kill before you learn? Oh shit. But I hear you make fun. Oh, here we go. Not gonna lie, the, the water effects looks kind of cheap. Dangerous situations, and often be pitted against rival AC pilots in bitter duels. The water effects could use some battles. Don't give the enemy a chance at victory. Kill shot. What in the fridge is that? Formidable boss encounters also await you at the end of certain missions. Oh my god, the bit rate. These fights are fast and aggressive, presenting a challenge for even the impossibly powerful AC. By observing the enemy's movements and tells, the player can learn as the battle unfolds. And a good command of assembly will often provide the first step to overcome even the most daunting foes. Wow, nice! Look at that! He jumped up to avoid the flamethrower, and then he did a dodge left and a dodge right in the air. That was sick. That concludes our introduction to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Wow, I am We appreciate so excited. your continued support and look forward to seeing you at launch. My holiday season is going to be f well this game comes out next month but I'm going to I'm going to wait until the holidays. I'm going to wait till Black Friday to pick this up along with Starfield. I'm not going to get either of those games at launch. I need a 4K version of this trailer. That's not a re-uploaded version. See, even at that part, everything just gets so blurry and blocky. I know it's the video, it's not the game. The, 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 everything looks so amazing. Pre-order now and get the Melander C3 G13 Special Customization Tenderfoot. That looks like... That looks like if America made an Armored Core unit. Red, blue, and gray. Deluxe Edition includes the game and digital art, art book and soundtrack. August 25th. Wow, that's... A month away that is crazy um yeah armored core 6 and starfield i'm gonna pick up during black friday um wow hopefully hopefully i can pick up my 4k camera before before then or maybe if the if the 4K camera that I'm getting for that I'm going for I can afford during that 
Black Friday sale this year, November. Uh, maybe I can pick up this game and Starfield at the same time along with the camera. Anyway, that's the plan that I'm going to go for. Are you guys excited for Armored Core? I haven't played Armored Core since uh, 1 and 2 on the original PlayStation or PlayStation 2. And uh, the last mech game I played, I think it was Mech Warrior 2 or 3 on the PC a long, long time ago. In fact, I'll tell you guys this. The last time I played Mech Warrior, uh, or the last time I played a mech-themed game, was when Tribes and Unreal Tournament and... I think, um, I don't know, maybe Halo 3 were a thing. I'm not, it was so long. It's anywhere between 10 and 15 years ago. I digress. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me, are you guys excited to play Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon? Because I know I am. I'm just not going to pick it up at launch. Hopefully by then there's some DLC that comes with it. I'm, oh, I, I'm trying to upgrade this can this from this stupid webcam so I can make better content. That's my priority purchase right now, and then the video games can wait till the holiday season. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next. Peace out.